Hi, Austria Elizabeth here. It's week three of the Granny Rose to Sell. And last week we started making the inner petals and I hope that that worked out for you. Let me know how that went in the comment section. So these are some of the petals that I made. And I'll tell you what, I made so many that I feel like it's raining petals here. It's raining petals. Hello and welcome back. This is week three of the Granny Rose 2 Stash Buster Cow. And as you recall, last week we made all these little inner petals to the final motif. And that was all of this part. And I made 101 this week. So I'd be very interested to hear how many you all made. So, um, yeah, put it in the comment section. How many did you make? And just kind of report back if, if you liked it or not. So this is the turquoise one that I made last week, and we are going to add these four petals around the inner petal this week. So since I'm kind of staying in the same family groups for my flowers, this was turquoise, and this is a little bit more of a greener turquoise. So create a slip stitch. And kind of with the cup of the inner petal sort of facing you, pull up one of those three chain loops. And we're going to crochet right into that space that that chain three loop made. And I was joined with a single crochet. Like that because our first stitch is a single crochet. So you can, you know, if you have a different method of joining your yarn, go ahead and do that and then crochet a single crochet for your first stitch. Then a half double crochet, then a double crochet, chain one, a double crochet, a half double, and a single crochet. And those, all those stitches were all in that same chain three space. So it was a single crochet, a half double, a double, chain one, a double, half double crochet, and a single crochet, all in the same chain three loop. Now we're just gonna repeat that exact same pattern in the other, the, the remaining three chain loops for a total of four petals. So single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, half double, a single, that's our second petal. Skip over to the next loop, single crochet, a half double, a double, chain one, a double, a half double, a single for your third petal. Now if I'm crocheting too fast, you can um, change your settings to slow it down or pause. Um, I get a little bit quicker as I go on because it's repetitive. So our last petal in the last chain three, and see how these that cup petal, the inner petal, is sort of facing me. So a single, a half, a double, chain one, a double, a half, and a single. So now you've just completed your fourth petal. So we're going to join this with that first single crochet of the round with a slip stitch. So 
and now it looks like that. So you've got your inner petal and four petals on the outside. Now we're going to add eight loops to the back of these petals. So we will chain three, turn it over to the wrong side. Now your inner petal is facing outward. And this is kind of similar to the loops you made before. It'd be a little, little bit different and a little bit of an additional item to think about. So that petal, that first petal there, has that chain one at the top, which creates kind of like a space right, I guess, below the top of that petal. And that is where you'll put your crochet hook in and come up right at the base for a slip stitch. And that creates your first three chain loop. Now chain three. And this next one is a little bit different because it'll be in between two petals. Every other loop will be in the middle of a petal and every other loop will be in between two petals. So see that that stitch right there, you'll just go sideways into that one like that for a slip stitch. And now you have two three chain loops on the back. So since we're alternating where these are joined, the next one will be in the middle of a petal. So chain three, right below that chain one of the next petal through that space and come up right to the base for a slip stitch. Chain three. In between the next two spe um, petals. Chain three. In the middle of a petal. Chain three, sideways in between two petals. Chain three, in the middle of a petal. I'm going to see if I can get this real close. You can see where that goes. Chain three, and that was our eighth one that we just chained. So we are going to slip stitch this one to the beginning of the, those first three chains. And, and sometimes, maybe when you chain these, your petal gets stuck behind it. That's okay. After, just pull it out. So now we have our four petals with eight loops on the back. So at this point you can fasten off. And weave in your end. Or I should say ends, plural ends, as in two. I'm sorry about my veering off to the left, to the right, up, down. I am making little marks and trying to stay lined up, I'm trying to get better. Okay, 
Now we have the four petals, the inner petal, eight loops on the back. I always count eight because sometimes I end up with seven and then that doesn't work so well when you get your other steps done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I end up with seven sometimes because I miss like a middle of a petal or an in-between a petal, but I usually count those before I weave in the ends to make sure that I have eight. And that is what that will look like after this week. So I have, I have a lot of these to do if I have 101, because this is all I've done so far. So I um, have quite a few of them to get ready for next week. If I don't make it, then um, that's okay, because this can go on forever and ever. All right. Um, I will, um, well, thank you for joining me. It's always so fun to do this and think somebody's actually going to watch this and make this. So that makes me really happy. So you have a fabulous week and I um, hope that you continue to have fun. Thank you. Bye-bye.